One of the major challenges is that people will assume if you come in with a seizure, then it's got to be epilepsy. So we know that 1% of the world uh, is diagnosed with uh, epilepsy or some type of a seizure disorder. Anywhere from 5 to 20% of those people actually don't have epilepsy. They actually have some type of a non-epileptic seizure. So the challenge is the assumptions that we make when people come to us with what appear to be a neurological disorder. The challenge there is that people get treated um, empirically with medications that don't help and actually may make things worse. So to address that challenge, what we're trying to do is educate clinicians and patients and caregivers and uh, hospitals so that that it's included on the differential diagnosis. Just because it shakes doesn't mean it's epilepsy. It could be a non-epileptic seizure. Just because somebody comes in with a dystonic posture doesn't mean that it's a neurogenic dystonia. It could be a psychogenic movement disorder. So that education is a big part of addressing some of those challenges.